There's new bike day, there are dream builds, and then you have builds like this, a 2024 Specialized S-Works Tarmac SL8 in what I'm gonna say is not your stock paint scheme, at least last time I checked. Yep, this frame is definitely not available on the website. This is a full custom build from the frame up, and today I'm gonna run through it. The components, who did the build, as well as who did the paint and the story behind such a wild paint job. And if you look closely, you'll notice that it's an asymmetrical paint scheme. It's actually painted differently on the non-drive side. They're calling it one half graffiti and the other half community service. As always, this isn't a sponsored video. And while I wish I could claim that this was my bike, this is my good friend Shane's bike and it's been a lot of fun to see it come to life, but let's get to it. This started as a size 52 ready to paint S-Works frame set. It has a full Dura-Ace group with a 5236 chain ring with power, 170 millimeter crank arms and an 1130 cassette. It has 160 millimeter Dura-Ace rotors on a set of NB45s with Chris King hubs with ceramic bearings and laced with a set of Continental Grand Prix 5000 STR tires in 30 millimeters. Up front, we have the Revolve Rapide one-piece bar stem combo in 400 by 110 with SuperCaz bar tape. It has a standard out front mount with some GoPro mounts for all of your favorite gadgets. And moving backwards, there's a set of S-Works carbon rib cages with the tool holder on the down tube. He's riding the Power Arc saddle, which I hear is a pretty comfortable saddle. It was originally built by Cam over at Specialized Costa Mesa. Shout out to Cam, he's a great mechanic and an all around good dude. He took the frame set, built it up, and then stripped it back down again to just the frame, fork, seat post, and bars to be sent to Ron Jones over at Pro Bike Design. And this is where things get interesting. Shane and Ron have worked together on a handful of different projects. A couple SL7s, Avenge, a Diverge, and now this SL8. And frankly, I always wonder how they're gonna top the last one, but somehow, Somehow they seem to pull it off, each one more special and personal than the last. Shane described this paint job, and I'm quoting him here, as a perfect representation of the dichotomy in my life. If the drive side reflects who I think I am, then the non-drive side reflects the me most people see. Simple, calm, controlled, and conservative. If you look closely, you'll see the real me still trying to poke through. And look at this thing. I mean. You might think it was left chained up to a stop sign in the middle of LA just by the looks of it. And I think that's what they were going for. The entire frame minus the logos was done with spray paint. So much so that one of the alternate names for the bike is Fat Caps. They brought in a graffiti artist by the name of Joker for the graffiti work, most notably the S-Works logo, which looks out of this world in my opinion. The Lodija logo, which is Shane's favorite race and TBD Racing, which is the team group that we ride with. And there's a few other logos sprinkled in there as well. The details are unreal. And the more I look at it, the more I realize just how many layers there are to this frame. Just look at the dripping paint as it drips from the head tube to the fork. You'll see that on the seat post as well. And then you have the bars, which I think the bars are an easy one to say, ah, we'll just leave that as is. But they didn't, they painted it and they painted the stem. I mean, it's so dang cool. The best part is that the entire frame was painted and then, and this is where the community service part comes back in. Ron took a white roller and rolled white paint over the non-drive side. You can see the paint job peeking through the white paint. I actually heard that Ron reached out to Shane before doing it and said, I've got a white roller in hand. Are you sure you want me to do this? I love the way that they went all out, just totally nuts with the frame to create a true one of one bike or a piece of art, depending on who you ask. When the frame was done, it was boxed up. It was shipped back to Specialized Costa Mesa where Cam with that ultra detailed eye, built it back up and now it's on the road today. And what's funny is that it's not uncommon for someone to see this bike on different days and mistake it for two different bikes because of the split paint job. It's often like an aha moment for some people that we ride with. I appreciate the individuality that cycling offers and projects like this are a good reminder that we don't always have to wear the same kits, ride the same bikes and come from the same place. We see this in other sports and I think it's slowly trickling into cycling. I think it's really good for the sport. Anyways, I'll link everyone's info down below. Huge thanks to Ron at Pro Bike Design for the details on the build, Cam for the build videos, and Shane for letting me photograph the bike. I owe you a huge pull through the Great Park. Do me a favor and drop me a comment below and let me know your thoughts on this bike. I think it's rad. I think it's one of the best custom bikes I've ever seen. Anyways, until next time.